So Boomer, you do not want me to edit this vlog, do you? You just want me to pay attention to you. That's all you want. Alright everybody, so this is one of Fred's stories that uh, didn't make it into the other vlogs. It's kind of a long one, so uh, I'm going to put it in this separate one. Uh, it's from about four days ago before surgery. So here it is, uh, the crab stories. Right, Boomer? Uh, one year there, we were crabbing down in Tom's River, in New Jersey. It was me, Wayne, my cousin Wayne, his wife Barbara, and Rita, four of us. And we were crabbing all day, had two bushel baskets full of crabs, and we put them in the trunk of the car. And Wayne was driving back home and the two girls were in a back seat and all of a sudden they let out screams and said something crossed over their feet right because they were barefoot and well that's just your imagination because the crabs are in the trunk i said this thing can't get out and get in here and all of a sudden one went right across wayne's foot while he was driving and his feet went up in the air too <laughs> and so we had to quick pull over and do a quick little search in the front of the vehicle and found a couple that's all and threw them back in the back again and then finished driving home. How did they get from the trunk to the front of the car? I don't know. They, they was work their way somehow hole. through. <laughs> that's funny. It is. That's funny. <laughs> that was the funniest thing we were doing crabbing except for when my Uncle Bill he was half in the bag, he was drunk, and we were crabbing, and we had a bunch of them in the basket. And he says, ah, look at him. stuck his hand right in there and had a bunch of them gripping on. And he's pulling them off. <laughs> Do they really hurt? Oh, yeah, they hurt. Really? <laughs> and he, he, he was drunk, that's why. He said, oh, they, they, they're fine, they don't bother, they don't hurt. They hurt. <laughs> what, what, what type of crabs are they? Because they're not like Blue, the... Blue Cross. Yeah. Because they're not like Alaskan king crabs. No, they, but boy, they're yeah. delicious, though. These. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I yeah. remember. Oh, they're good. You cook them up right, they're, they're delicious. I remember. Yeah. We used to go crabbing a lot, and I remember one time we went crabbing, and we came back, and I took a nap. And I used to walk in my sleep a lot, and... I went across the room and Connie was in her room with somebody. She had a friend over. I knocked on her door and I was sleeping and she opens her door and she says, what? I said, dumb, stupid crabs in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any of my other sleepwalking times? Yeah. So, I used to do no, a lot of sleepwalking. <laughs> so. There was something in the closet one time. I don't know. I remember I woke Connie up because there was a baby cow in my room. In the closet. Yeah, in the closet. Is that yeah. what it was? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> what did I used to do when I was a baby to you? Huh? When I was a baby, what did I used to do? When you were a baby? I was in the crib. Huh? When I was in the crib in your bedroom. And she got out of the crib and what did she do? Hit you in the head. A what? I would hit you in the head with my bottle. Oh, and tell yeah. Her, tell you all did that. You and tell you would hit me it. with it. <laughs> and how did you break me of my bottle? How did I break you? No, no, you used to cry. Oh, Christ, to wake up wee hours in the morning and crying for a bottle. And finally one day I says, took you in the kitchen, set you on a counter, and I took your bottle and I said, here's your bottle. And I sliced it in half with a knife and threw it in the garbage. And I said, now don't ever ask for another bottle. Wake up and ask for another bottle again. I said, you'll have one when you go to bed and that's it. <laughs> I put you back to bed. <laughs> so then you never, you never woke up and asked for a bottle again. 
never did. And he, he, you wanted to sleep over at Leach's house one time. And Aunt Leach said, oh, no, you're not waking me up at 2 o'clock in the morning for a bottle. She says, I promise I won't because I don't wake up for a bottle anymore. I promise. <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, you woke her up. Aunt Leach, uh, can I have a glass of milk? <laughs> Wasn't a bottle. <laughs> and then in the morning you said, I didn't wake you up for a bottle, did I? <laughs> it wasn't a bottle. <laughs>